Hello everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm giving my one year review on the MagSafe battery pack made by Apple. And before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more iPhone 14 Pro accessories and more tech related videos. All right guys, so I really, really like the way this product looks. It's a nice clean white design and MagSafe just makes this even more awesome. I can fit it easily in any bag or pocket and it's really nice in hand. I can hold it comfortably and I'm still able to perform a simple task like texting. The charging speed isn't crazy fast, but it's good. It's solid. Keep in mind, if you use this, you'll need to recharge it. I think the real winner is the MagSafe compatibility. Is MagSafe going away anytime soon? No. So I may get three or four more iPhone generations with this charger, which is actually really nice. It's currently compatible with all MagSafe acceptable iPhones. So the 12 all the way to the 14 and MagSafe on the device is really strong, so it won't fall off. I would say though, over the year, I did struggle to find use cases for it. It's not my nightly charger. In fact, I had to go looking for it cause I hadn't used it in maybe over four months. I do have multiple devices. So if I'm traveling, I'm going to use something like the MagSafe Duo or the three in one MagSafe charger by Zira. Also subscribe to see that review that's coming soon. If you're like me and you have a watch, AirPods and an iPhone, this doesn't really make sense. Another use case is using it outside of the house, but honestly, you most likely have a charger in your car or maybe even at work. Like I use a Swilo charger at work and it's fine. Now the price is at $100, which isn't terrible, but it isn't great. If it was at $59 to $79 range, this would be a no brainer. Thinking a little bit more about this, I realized this isn't a travel charger. This is a just in case charger. It's not in competition with these three in one chargers. It's not trying to be the MagSafe Duo. So why would I really need this? And my perspective on this charger kind of changed with Hurricane Ian. If the power went out, I would be able to extend my battery life on the phone. Even if it's a few hours, this could be very helpful, especially in an emergency situation. Also, I do think this would be beneficial for someone at a conference all day or on a flight for convenience and being able to extend that battery life, especially like a long flight. Okay, so just to summarize, the upsides. It's a nice design, small for travel and small for pockets. You'll get a lot of iPhone generations out of this, which is good for emergencies. And even though you're spending $100, you could end up having this for three to five years. So just in case you may need it one day, this is actually a really good deal. And that's why I'm recommending this. This isn't your everyday charger. It's not your nighttime charger. It's your just in case charger. If you actually have this product, let us know in the comments what your experience has been and if you find other use cases. Also, guys, subscribe to get my full review of the iPhone 14 Pro that's coming within the next week or two. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, God bless, and I will see you on the next video.